To date, there are no reliable training model platforms of trochlear dysplasia. We developed a cost-effective, reliable, and anatomically accurate three-dimensional knee model of trochlear dysplasia in the context of recurrent patellofemoral instability, on which we can simulate procedures such as trochleoplasty. Here we show the 3D print production of a distal femur from a 27-year-old female with trochlear dysplasia and recurrent patellofemoral instability. A CT was obtained of her right knee, from which her bony anatomy was segmented using materialized mimics, and cartilage was extrapolated using anatomic reference. The entirety of the distal femur as far proximal as to the femoral metadiaphysis was included to allow for comprehensive anatomic visualization, improved model handling, and anchor fixation of the simulated trochleoplasty proximal to the articular surface. Models were printed using material extrusion 3D printing technology on an Ultimaker S5 printer. After printing, the support structures are manually and carefully removed and post-processing is performed. To model cancellous bone, 15 milliliters of a two-part rigid water-blown foam was mixed two to one parts by weight, poured into the hollow bone cavity, and left for 20 minutes to set. It was then cut flush with the end of the model and left to cure for two hours. Rapid movements of the blowtorch were then performed over the TPU surface to achieve a smooth condyle finish. The rigid foam aids in shape preservation of the modeled bone during the cartilage smoothing process and provides manual feedback as well as anchor fixations similar to cancellous bone. The raw material cost per printed model is very low and fabrication time is on the order of hours, enabling the printing of numerous training models as needed. Final 3D printed products representing aberrant trochlear morphology from two different patients are shown. The prominence of the supertrochlear bump on the medial aspect of the trochlear ridge can be easily visualized on the lateral view. We also highlight this bump and its variable height and shape using a metal probe for visual purposes. The relative height of the supertrochlear spur from a lateral viewpoint is readily appreciated. Existing sawbone and cadaveric models mostly represent normal patellofemoral joint morphology. The pliable materials used in our model allow for easily modeling of supertrochlear spur recession using a high-speed burr or drill. Care should be taken to remove the material below the supertrochlear spur, which represents subchondral bone, without compromising the overlying osteochondral surface. After recession of the modeled subchondral bone, 3D printed suture anchors can be easily added, spanning the trochlea for trochleoplasty reduction to the underlying bone. We demonstrate the tamponing and induced flexibility of this recessed spur using a probe from a lateral viewpoint on the left edge of the screen. For comparison, a 3D printed model of trochlear dysplasia that has not undergone simulated surgical modification and still has an intact supertrochlear bump is shown.